And we're off. Well, some of us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss, or I, Shinobi. We have episodes 253 and 254 of our One Piece watch today. Now, we are off again, as I said, some of us, to Ennis Lobby for Frankie and now Usopp to be judged. Usopp kind of just getting caught in the crossfire as Frankie was captured. And Robin is off alongside CP9, just kind of thinking back to the Straw Hat crew. Meanwhile, Nami not making it in time to the train. Sanji supposedly making it in time. And Luffy and Zoro still being stuck we're gonna hop right into these bad boys if you're new to the channel drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's get into it oh <laughs> i love the the emphasis on these two conductor guys they watch over them right yeah <laughs> these guys <laughs> they're just their heads are sticking out it's beyond light now. Yeah. There's no way you're getting out of there. These guys, bro. How? These guys are so out of the loop, man. I can't. You're gonna take a, sh a ship through Aqua Laguna. No shot. Yeah. Wait, are they gonna try to use Mary? One lot there's no way Mary out of anything would survive it. It's already on its deathbed. They have to do the same. Oh my gosh! He grabbed the two like ship conductors or train conductors. Train ship kind of. Oh my goodness. Wait, Blue Station even seems ill prepared. Shouts Polly. I did still upside down. <laughs> I like their hats a lot. Yeah, so I'm saying, like, I thought they would have prepared even the station. Like, that shows that this this might be even... Are they even kind of teased that this might be a stronger than a regular Aqua Laguna? Uh-oh. They're just traps here at Water 7. Hey man, it was built by Tom. It, it'll it'll withstand the strongest of waves. An inconspicuous letter. Wait, from Robin? <gasps> Maybe. Yeah, for real. In this inconspicuous manner. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those other Nami don't have to read since they're idiots. A point. It's from Sanji. Pointless love letter is the first half. <laughs> These two think they're watching some soap opera. I can't. <laughs> Polly's the mistress. Okay, at least somebody knows what happens to Sanji now. He better have. Took his time. The duck tail. <laughs> Stop, bro. They're like, this is a weird love pentagon. He's got so much competition. <laughs> Snail phone. Mm. So he can ring them. Wait, so how compatible are different ones with just random snails? Gosh. Your dear beloved. You interrupted the story. Sanji's bright. When he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, that's something. But y'all have to wait till Aqua Laguna's over. There's no option. Dang, dude, look at it go. I mean, there's no way Sanji's taking on CP9 by himself. I don't know if he could 1v1 any of them. They have those six abilities. Usopp's got someone. Look <laughs> at the Yagaras! I can't. Wait, we flashed back to before they started surging? I just realized Nami and Paul. This is when Nami and Polly first got there. Come on, dude. Shameless. They better find him this episode. I'm gonna be upset. Quietly infiltrate. It's bold to sit outside. Oh. He's just looking up at him. Well, well, well. No, not inside. Toss him out. Oh, my. So much for being, like, I don't know, slightly sneaky about it. Bruh. I'm surprised they have not blown him away already. It's more like what? That he's not ordinary? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. He cannot let any of CP9 find out. They will toss him off of the train. 
Oh. Oh, they're gonna handle it. Is this their leader? Oh my gosh! Jerry? Dude, Jerry's huge. South Blue Island, where karate is popular. All right, Jerry, let's see it. Dude, he's a mammoth. How is his back okay, man? Jerry's punches! Hey, that kind of looks like Gatling. Luffy's Gatling. Jerry, so stop! Oh my god! <laughs> wait, he can easily- Wait, he took down all his men. You are at a disadvantage. <laughs> oh, so he's flexible. This is- Yeah, this is not boxing! Oh, wait, he's gonna launch off the wall. Damn! Oh, shoot. Wait, that was a sick angle, though. He, he took down Jerry's son! Easy clapper. Not a sweat. In order of increasing strength. Captain and former knight. T-Bone. Wands. Head steward. He's giving him the rundown. Mr. Nero, my newest member. Why are they all looking at each other like that? This is Corgi, right? Yeah, you can't raid in the middle of the sea. God dang, dude! Mugiwara! Surely they find him this episode. Surely. Is Polly falling asleep? What's happening? Was he just so injured? Iceberg has meetings to attend. Oh my gosh, she's going to the nearest place with me. Oh no, she's gonna bait him. She's gonna bring me some shit so he'll smell it. They want Polly to win <laughs> after being dumped. Oh. <laughs> These guys are so wholesome though. Well, how are they gonna find just fresh meat when everything's closed? Well, yeah, there's a storm. The entire plot is riding on you guys. I mean, Zoro is just upside down sticking out of a chimney. He'd be easy to spot. Luffy, not as much. What's she looking at? Oh, they're posters? Well, I mean, they were, but not like killed. Probably harder to hear over the rain, too. What, like the flood? Oh, Kokoro! Is she projecting a big one? Chimney, no! <laughs> How much lower the water goes? How much lower? Oh, shoot. Yeah, because it all draws out before it... Ah. Whoa. That's where, like, Frankie, Tom, and Iceberg's, like, the shipwreck yard used to be, right? Because, like, the further out it goes, the harder it'll crash back in. So everybody's, like, underground, right? Or, like, inside? There's, like, a big warehouse that showed. Oh yeah, there's a ship shipwreck yard down the bottom left. So ominous. It's coming! Calm before the storm. Something between two houses? Oh, it's Luffy! <laughs> Just standing up on the wall. She's the one that spotted Luffy. Can't be Zoro. Zoro's in a chimney. Well, Nami, time for a scientific lesson here for you. Wait, where? I don't- wait, how does Chimney see that? Do you actually see Luffy? Am I dumb? Enhance. How does she see him? Do I need to visit an optometrist? But he's just vibing. <laughs> Isn't that your king of the pirates? Well, you found one of the two. Wow, I really thought they'd find Zoro first. He was like sticking out. She has to. Oh no. She's going like down to where it's gonna be already flooding. Well, Luffy will drown. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've seen Kokoro like scared or worried or anything. Well, kind of during the backstory, but not even that much emotion. Go, Nami! She's the bravery. What Nami does for the captain. Okay, so does Chimney have the powers of the, I guess we could say the, the binoculars, binoculars fruit or the vision, vision fruit? 2020 fruit, 2020 vision. I'm just intelligent. Let's go next episode. God, dude, the, the scale of the city whenever it's put into perspective is crazy. Mommy's moving without fear. Dude, no shot. Ooh, not to mention an insane jump. Good God. She's throwing her body away trying to get to him. You can see from like the ripples that the roof is already like insanely, like not flooded, but the, the insane amount of rain. Well, she can get to Luffy too. He can stretch them back or so. Something like that. 
A sea anemone? Is that just Zoro sticking out? <laughs> Why is he like glowing? Oh no, he just sees the shape of him. My goodness gracious. Go Chopper! <laughs> I'm in the nem -nem 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 Oh my god, Chopper just flew! I love how like Nami or Chimney spotted Luffy like one pixel 500 miles away. And then Chopper's just staring at Zoro sticking out of Chimney like, huh, that's an odd place for a creature of the sea to be. She's gonna tell Luffy about Robin. He's gonna be like, I knew it. She's gonna be like, shut up. What was the name of the military operation that would be called in if if they were to, that calls in like all the big ships and stuff. I forget. Buster? Buster. Buster call or something like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I guess if you're on like the second type level of Water 7, you're pretty safe. It's mostly just the places down the first, like near, like near the shore. They can make it back with sheer willpower. Doesn't even sound like Chopper. He's yelling so loud. All right, so how is she getting him out? He's like stuck stuck. She doesn't want to get stuck too- Well, she would have to like fall down through the- Yeah, how do you get him out? I feel like she's just gonna be like, Yo, you'll die if you just sit there, bro. Maybe she tells him about Rob and he'll be inspired. Oh. Eh. But he got rolled, man. See, even if they don't catch up to them, I don't know how he beats Luchi. He has cracked. Come on, buddy. His voice? Yeah, how unlucky are you, Luffy? Flew right into the tiny gap all the way across town. Yep, that's gonna- that's gonna inspire him. He'd never let that happen. Right? Luffy? <gasps> she lied? Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought he always kind of believed that she was not evil or anything. Like, something was just going on. Here he goes! For the second time! <laughs> Give him and run, bro. She is, like, in it. Go, Chopper! Why is Zoro stretching like Luffy? <laughs> Zoro has beaten all these insane opponents. Loses to architecture. Loses to structural integrity. It's one of his blades, right? Is he gonna ask Chopper to, like, cut the chimney? I can tell since it's a curse sword. Holding his hand because it's cursed, but like it wouldn't let him die. They're gonna bust out at the same time. Oh my god! Bro! This ain't no regular storm! That is absurd. That's gotta be one of the biggest storms I've ever seen in my life. The biggest Aqua Laguna of all time. Look at his eyes. He had to be all the way at the end of town. The very edge. He's gonna have to like grab Nami and run. It's funny how Luffy's entire life was saved by Chimney's ability to see. <laughs> There's one thing that'll inspire Luffy to break out of a building. It's his friends. Oh, shoot! Damn, okay. That was sick. Just push two buildings over. My god. What is that strength? Like one guy's like, hey, that was my house! God damn. He's pissed! What is he gonna do? Oh. Wait, how is he holding it? Did he just drop it down to him and he grabbed it? What are they? <laughs> nice. Say that we say we don't got time to get back again. Dude, why? I swear, Zora, a, a chopper sound different. It might be because he's yelling, but still. They're gonna make it! I like how they both zoom in at the same time. With Luffy and Zora, respectively. God, dude, they're gonna go, have to go even higher. It looks like the storm's gonna go higher. They, as soon as they can't reach there, really? Like, it's impossible, like, from there? All right. If you say so. Wait, so like, is the station underwater right now, too? Oh, <laughs> That was so cute. God. Oh, Polly! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Polly, hey, listen. Luffy hasn't asked yet. You join the crew, baby. Come on. What a badass. Damn. Bleeding from the ropes. What a beast. 
Guys, he just saved all four of them. My theory holds so strong. Pole points are up. <laughs> Chopper just on Zora's face. My God. Water 7 is collapsing, bro. Oh, has it stopped? Dude, it's all underwater. No. Dang, dude. The island looks so much smaller now. Even staying here doesn't seem safe. Yeah. Look how it's ebbing again. Oh my gosh. Dude, when we first got here, I was like, why doesn't everybody live here? Now I kind of understand. This place is like apocalypse mode once a year. Did Zoro just pass out from Chopper just suffocating him? Yeah, for real. Okay, so yeah, it's not normally this bad. They did say that at first. Okay, so I mean... Monster Granny? Has he called her that before? That's kind of mean. Like, wham! Chopper, stop! <laughs> this idiot lost consciousness holding on to me. <laughs> Don't you laugh, Luffy. Don't you laugh. Actually, Zoro's was worse because he didn't get stuck originally. He just slipped and fell in. His was worse. Oh. He almost asked about Usopp. Good save, I guess. <laughs> He's choking Chopper. Is this on? Oh, wait, no, this is a uh, pandem. Buster call. I was right. Five of the admirals as well as 10 battleships. So, how Kichi's an admiral? I thought there were only three admirals. Why is there five? Funk free is an elephant? Yeah, okay. He's still calling Frankie Cuddy Flam. Mm -hmm. But where are the blueprints? What if they're back at Water 7? Also, I feel like, again, Frankie will even die for it. Like, he won't tell them. It was on Prime Delivery. Wait, the military were showing up. So is he saying he enacted Buster Call? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, I think there are only three. I'm looking at my wall. The wall piece. Don't look, Sanji, there's like a gauntlet awaiting you on this train, man. Yep. I mean, what can they do? The train's gone, bro. Gonna launch yourself over the ocean? Like, it's, it's just not gonna happen. First off, they don't even know where Mary is. Oh, wait. I forgot. They, uh, CP9, like, dropped it. Kaku, like, let it, let Mary out of the thing. And I feel like it would burst into a million pieces if they just took it out to Aqua Laguna. All right, our heroes are back together at last, but do they have a ride? Mary wouldn't stand this storm, let alone like a battleship, bro. I mean, I guess the train is making it across. Maybe this is how they get their new ship, but it would feel so like they, it, they're in such a rush. It would feel too rushed if they just like, they're, okay, this one. I mean, I guess they have a lot of shipbuilders there. They could get like a temporary one, like have everybody like pitch in and help and maybe Iceberg is sort of like the loose end key to the puzzle because he just kind of walked off there at the end. Maybe he has an idea as to what they should do going forward because I think he feels just as bad about what's happening to the Straw Hats because he kind of just assumed a, a little bit quickly about their involvement. But I mean, you can't blame the guy. I think everybody was kind of after him. But guys, that's been it for episodes 253 and 254 of our One Piece watch through. Do drop us up on the channel if you are new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.